do I have a surprise for you? You're going to love this. Father Fish is going to teach you how to make a microworm culture that will last week after week, month after month, for up to a year. This is what it looks like. Hang in there. Be sure to press the like button down below. Subscribe if you have not already. If you have, make sure you click on the bell and the all so that you get all of our wonderful, amazing Father Fish videos each time we put one on YouTube. So come along. I'm going to show you how to do this. And here we are with a microworm culture. This was set up six weeks ago. Six weeks ago, that's right. And I'm here to tell you it smells like fresh bread. <laughs> no odor at all. Look at this. Let me get the camera on it. This is gorgeous stuff. Look at all the worms around the edge. Now, I, I fed this twice this morning already, and they just keep coming up the side. Six weeks. Here's what you do. I went to... I went to the Chinese carryout, and I bought a quart of cooked white rice. White rice, who'd have thought? I put two-thirds of it in this container up to about here. Six weeks ago, it's gone down half an inch in six weeks. Maybe not a year. Depends how much you feed them. Anyway, I put it up to the, to the bottom line here. Don't know why. I just did. Probably could have filled it all the way. Wouldn't have mattered. This is a quart container. This is the lid. Now, I had some of those fancy lids somewhere, but I can't find them. You know, the ones they make for fly culture that are perforated with screen. Don't know where they are. In storage, maybe, or gone. Anyway, I poke a hole in it and put a little piece of cotton in. And then stick a knife in to make a lot of little a lot of little uh, tiny tiny holes the critical thing is you don't want gnats getting into it or you do but they're going to make a a, a, a a worm culture a maggot culture that's great for your bigger fish but it'll kill the micro worm culture so you can do two of these one for gnats for the worm culture the the uh, maggots and the other for micro room. Okay, here's the deal. Fill it up to uh, as high as you can get it and still feel like it's reasonable. And then you're going to need to put a, a little bit of live culture on it. Now, here's a trick. I'm going to put this down. Here's a trick. If you do not have live culture and you can't get it, you can make it. That's right. Let me explain how to make it. This is wonderful. First of all, you need to understand that microworms are nematodes. Nematodes are a tiny little creature that lives, well, everywhere. They're everywhere. They're in the dirt in your backyard. And that's the key. Bake a potato, scoop out the potato, and bury the skin under about, oh, about two inches of soil, an inch to two inches, just kind of cover it up. Put it in a soft garden area where the soil is kind of worked up and soft, and leave it there for a week. Come back in a week and dig it up. 
take a take a little bit of that of that potato, scoop a little bit of it up, and put it right on top of your microworm culture of your rice or you can use potato instant potato is good oatmeal is good almost any kind of cereal that's going to uh, be act as a starch that's basically what you want you can use bread for that matter doesn't really matter put that little bit of culture on top now if you don't want to go through all that nonsense I'll sell you some. Just contact me on uh, PayPal or Get Guilds. PayPal, fatherfish at fatherfish.net. I'll send you some. Put a little bit on top. You can put a whole lot on top. Doesn't matter. Put a, put a, oh, maybe a quarter of a teaspoonful on top. Right on top of the, uh, of the media, the rice or whatever it is you're using. And then, secret ingredient, Fleischmann's Active Dry Yeast. This is the magic. Take a little bit of this, and I'm going to do it for you, because you need to do it regularly. I cover the bottom of the lid, like so. And then, I guess I need to put it down to open the lid again on this. Here we go. You do want to be careful not to drop this because it'll be hard to clean up. Hard. Okay, here's the yeast. Sprinkle it on top. Cover the whole surface with a very thin layer of yeast. Okay, that's what the worms eat. They eat the yeast. The yeast works into the, uh, uh, the, the material, in this case, the rice. It percolates it. It creates a nutrition for the worms. And that's what they eat. That's how they grow. All right. Now. After you've done this, oh, I keep doing the, putting the lid on. Let me take it off again. Here's how I feed the worms. I'm, I'm scaring them. If you scare them, they'll drop right straight down. Let's see if I tilt this a little bit. Now, I use a, uh, a paintbrush, uh, a, a thin, just a little tiny paintbrush, and wipe right along the top. Like that. And I get the worms. And then I simply, right there it is. And there they go. Now, these white clouds, the golden white clouds, are going to eat these. They're small enough to be able to see them and eat them. Look at them go. Look at them go. The white club minnows are eating the worms. Is that cool or what? So you can feed microworm to any small fish. You see the rams are eating them as well. Even the angels are eating them. There's a baby angel. You see me? Look at that. Look at that. Everybody loves microworms. Is that cool or what? All right. Ah, uh, so now you never need to have a stinky microworm culture again. I want to thank Joey of Hat Trick Farm for this trick. She figured this out. I asked her again and again to make a video and she never did. So I'm going to do it, but I'm going to give her full credit. Joey, Hat Trick Farm, check out her channel and enjoy your year-long, non-stinky, fresh, 
spread microworm culture. Ta-da!